Hello, in this transaction, we're going to record the receipt of cash for work that has not yet been done. So here's our business owner. The owner has received cash, but the work has not yet been done, which is not typical. Normally, we would do the work and then get the cash later or get the cash at the same point in time. You can think of it in this case as us bidding for the job, possibly getting a deposit before the work is done. We'll take a look at what happens to a transaction in this case. First thing we know that we can first look at cash even if we don't know what the thing is going to happen with this timing difference. So we know that cash has been received. Therefore, cash has a debit balance. How do we make it go up? We do the same thing to it as what it is, which in this case will be another debit. Therefore, we're going to debit cash. So cash is going to be increased. And if we post that out, we've got the 109400 debit represented by the fact that it doesn't have credits. We're going to debit it again by the 15 doing the same thing to it. To it bringing the balance up to 124400 If we debit cash, we're going to have to credit something. The question here is, what are we going to credit? We might think that we should be crediting income because we got it because we're going to do work. Why are people paying us? Because we earned it. We're going to do work. But did we earn it? Not yet. We're going to earn it in the future. So under the accrual process, we have to say, haven't earned it yet, so we can't call it income. Where are we going to put it? In this case, we put it into unearned revenue. Unearned revenue is right here. It's going to be in the liability section. You can see by the, by the uh, orange area. And we know that liabilities have credit balances. And if we credit a credit balance, it's actually going to increase the liability. So what's happening is if we post this out, we're crediting the liability account, increasing the liability. And why would that make sense? Why would we increase the liability? Because we owe something in the future. We owe the work. We owe the job. We got to complete the job. If we don't complete the job, then we owe the money back. So we owe something in the future until we complete the job. When we complete the job, then we can take it out of the liability and put it into revenue, which is where we really want it to be. What's going to be the effect on the accounting equation? We can see that assets are going to increase because cash increased. And we can see that liabilities were impacted in this case. Liabilities went up. Therefore, the liabilities are going up. What's going to happen to equity then? Equity is going to remain the same. So assets went up on the one side and liabilities went up on the other side. No impact on equity. If we look at net income then, of course, no impact on net income in this case because we got cash. But even though we got cash, we didn't earn it. So nothing is happening down here on revenue or expenses, the income statement accounts. The other side of it was in the liability at this time. When will it be income? When we earn it. When we earn it, that's when we'll convert that unearned revenue to earned revenue.